it's my very first nighttime clean with me and my first time talking to the camera. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. And if so, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and share this channel with your family and friends. As I stated in the intro, it was my first time talking to the camera. So if you think I should continue to do that, leave a comment below. As you can see, I start my nighttime cleaning routine by closing all blinds and picking up items off the floor. Growing up, my mom used to call that closing down the house before bedtime. I also prep the rooms we use most often for the next day. And what this does is it helps me wake up to a clean house and it gives me a sense of ease going into the day versus a sink filled with smelly dishes or dog toys all throughout the house. My mom also used to say not to sweep or throw trash out at night. And the reason was back then when there was no electricity or light in the dark, there were chances of you throwing away precious valuables by accident. So our ancestors preferred to sweep their house during the day so they could avoid sweeping away something important. Every night I shred our junk mail. This reduces clutter and identity theft. And I also sweep behind Max's crate because a lot of hair gathers back there. For peace of mind, I also check my Glade plugins every night and change them as needed. to sweep this area as well as the hallway located outside of it as they both get a lot of use throughout the day. Every night I remove Max's dry food and water three hours before bedtime. This cuts back on the number of bathroom trips he needs during the middle of the night. This is a high traffic area, so it gets pretty dirty. As such, every night I shake the rug and I give it a good sweep. And then during the day I vacuum it. Yeah, it's a lot of work for such a small area, but it has to be done. This is where most of my nighttime cleaning takes place. I didn't film cleaning up after dinner, but I did capture how I prep my fridge for leftovers and how I also check to see if any food needs to be disposed of or consolidated.
leftover chicken from two weeks ago and it smelled pretty foul so I had to throw it out. And I really hate throwing away food because it's so expensive, but sometimes you just have to do it. This is chicken my husband grilled on Sunday, so I need to combine them to make space for tonight's leftovers. This is tonight's leftovers. I always try to refrigerate my leftovers while it's cool or within two hours of cooking it or removing it from the oven. And the reason why is bacteria can grow quickly on the food left out at room temperature for more than two hours. And if this happens, it's best to just throw it out. As you can see, my dishwasher is partially full. Throughout the day I load it and at night I run the cycle. This is another reason why I wash my dishes before loading them in the dishwasher. I also only use stainless steel cookware. You see, stainless steel is non-toxic, long-lasting, and is far more durable than other materials used to make cookware. So quick tip, clean your sink after doing the dishes. Why? Because any food particles left in there is a breeding ground for illness causing bacteria such as E. coli and salmonella. If you've been with my channel for a while, you know I love some Dunkin' Donut coffee. So every night I make sure I check my coffee pot to ensure I have enough water for the following day. And I also move my K-cups up front. I also wipe down my counters and my appliances that I've used. Why? Because again, I like waking up to a clean kitchen. Also, it just motivates me to cook breakfast when I know everything is already clean and waiting for me in the morning. Also, every night I wash, fold, and put away one load of laundry. That's just one load less I have to worry about the following day.
three hours before bedtime, I begin winding down by dimming the lights. I also wash up and then give Max one hour of couch time and TV time before putting him to bed. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for watching Sissy Spaces. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and share this channel with your family and friends. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.